What's up, Notion fans? This week, Notion shipped a new feature called Home, and this comes bundled with a sub-feature called My Task, which is a real game changer in terms of being able to work in multiple different scopes within your Notion workspace. So this means we can now have a global task database that we work on with our company, and it means we can also have a private task database that is only accessible to us. And we're able to now see on our homepage all of our tasks, whether they're private or they are public to your company. This is a major game changer for working with external parties. In this video, I'm gonna give you a quick and dirty overview of the new home feature and how this My Task feature can be used to build some client dashboards. So I'm gonna be showing some examples from Flora HQ, which is one of my demo workspaces. This is a florist's management system. We're gonna see over in the top left, the new home tab, and I'm gonna click right into that and we'll get a look at what's on the home page. So this is a new dashboard that Notion has built for us. It gives us a little nice little welcome message. We can edit our nickname here. So if I wanna call myself Ben, I can do that. Over in the top right, we have our settings. This is where we can change the default start page. So we can click here and I can switch to home as the page that always opens up instead of the last visited page. And you can also find these in the settings and members workspace settings. We also have show hide widgets. So you can see on this page, we've got a series of widgets recently visited my tasks, which is a feature we're gonna get a look at, which is very powerful, new addition to Notion. Down below, we've got suggested pages trending pages and so on and so forth if you're using analytics and we also have a section for featured notion templates that you could grab and a learning area so these are some small lessons that you can check out and mark as done which is pretty cool so this is like a almost like a learning journey type thing for learning notion so i'm going to customize my home page a little bit let's show and hide pages i'm going to hide the featured templates and we'll keep the other ones do i need to learn the greeting yeah well we'll keep the greeting as well and you, you can see the greeting here is actually adjusting to meet the timeline of my day so it says good morning and since i just started this video at noon it's now saying good afternoon and we can jump into our recently visited pages from here so that's kind of what the my home is so you've got recently visited pages which is kind of like the mobile jump back in feature and then we also have this my task feature so this is the meat of the new feature and it's pretty amazing and it's gonna make a bunch of different awesome workflows possible in notion so let's talk about what my task is so you can see don't see all your tasks here let's go to our flora hq and I'm gonna to go to my maintenance tasks database and in the dot, dot, dot menu here, I'm gonna scroll down and we can see we've got this thing that says turn into task database. So let's click that. So what this does is a task database is basically you've got a status, you've got an assignee and you've got a date. So any database that has those three things, so I can pick the status here, can be turned into a task database. And the cool thing about this is I've got some tasks assigned to me. I've got this Benjamin error one here. So this is, uh, there's two tasks here that are assigned to me. So for example, if we added a filter and I said assigned to me, I would just see uh, my stuff. And so we'll delete that. We don't want to save that. But if we go back to our homepage, we're now seeing that we've got maintenance tasks in my task section. We can also add other databases. So this means we can do something like, add a, and let's use one of Notion's templates. We're gonna add a to-do list and I'm gonna say get template. And so we could use this. These could be my private tasks that nobody else has access to. So I could be doing the laundry. I could pick up groceries and I could assign these to myself. So we'll assign both of these and maybe we'll give these a due date of today and tomorrow. And of course, I can turn this into a task database. You can see it's already a task database, and that's because we're using task template from Notion. So they automatically turn that into a task database. So now when I go back to home, I can see my tasks and my maintenance tasks. So this is a way to see all of your tasks for your company and your private tasks in the same place. And of course, you know, these are similar to Notion linked databases. We can filter by due date, by created by, and so on and so forth. These are always going to be filtered to your assigned tasks. And of course, I can mark these as in progress. I can change the due date and so on and so forth. The source column is the source database that we're pulling the tasks from. So this is like a unified global task area. So what could you use this for? You could probably use this to create 
an individual task database for each one of your clients and add that as a task database. And that way you could see all of your tasks in one place and all the clients that you're managing. Now you could then give individual access to those databases to your clients. And that way you can have a shared schema across your entire Notion workspace where you could manage all your client work, but those clients would only have access to their task database. And this allows you to customize each of those clients' databases. So as long as you have that status, that due date, and that assignee column, you can build a global task database using my tasks. At this time, there's no way to, um, you could open this as a full page and favorite it there to get to all of your tasks in one look, but there's no way to add a view somewhere else in your system. So if I wanted to make a, uh, the my task version of that database here, we can't use linked view of database to pull that in because it's only gonna pull in an individual source database. So there's no way to create our own version of that that exists in one of our other dashboards. We have to rely on my home at this time, but maybe in the future Notion will create something that allows us to drop that my tasks into any page. One of the most requested features in Notion is the ability to manage clients or manage vendors. And that's been really difficult in the past because we've had to create separate databases for each of our clients. And then there's no real way to show all of those databases in one place. This new My Task feature allows us to combine all those databases and show them on my homepage. So let's do a quick build of a new team space where we're gonna manage some client work. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new team space and let's call this one client demo and we'll make this one closed create space awesome and we've got a team space home we'll keep that for now but in my client demo i'm going to add projects and tasks to this awesome so the idea here is we've got a task database and notion is smart enough now to automatically include it in the task database so i can see all my tasks in home and now if we go back to our home page we can add a new task, and this is going to be added to the client demo task database. So uh, we'll call this one my first task, and maybe it's due 21st. Project is getting started. Priority is high. So we can see my first task is due here. Uh, this is in my task database, and I can go back to tasks, and I can see that that's been added in this database. Uh, everything is nicely synced and I can work from my homepage and I could also create tasks here and so on and so forth. So let's also go ahead and I'm gonna add another database to my client demo here. And let's go with a blank page and I'm gonna create a table here and we're gonna call this one clients and we'll call this one client A, client B and client C. Don't really need a tag. We'll just create databases here. And this will allow us to organize our projects by client. So I'm gonna to go to my project here and I'm gonna add a relation. And I'm gonna add a relation to the clients database. We'll show it on clients as projects. Great. So let's assign these two projects to the client A. And we'll assign, open this guy up. And this will be client B. Great, so this allows us to then create dashboards in here where I could open this up and you know, if we wanted to create a dashboard for our clients, we could do that by creating a template. They would call this a client template or something. And inside the template page, I might say, show me a linked view of the projects. And we could say all projects filtered where the client is the name of the template save for everyone uh, and that way when we apply the template to client a for example we're going to see those two projects there in order to make a client dashboard where we share with people we might actually let's say we wanted to do that we'll set the default client here for all views and i'm going to edit this client template let's start for editing purposes and what i'm going to do is i'm going to call this pay i'm going to make a new page in here and we'll call this one client dashboard. And within this, I'm going to create a new to-do list. Let's get the template. Uh, there, you can see here that now we've got this thing that says, 
are you sure you want to add another to-do list template? Tasks already exist on this team space. This template works best if there's only one per team space. So it doesn't seem like Notion wants us to create from that template. So we'll cancel and I'm going to create my own task database. So this will be a uh, task. And of course, we're going to need a status. We're going to need a due date. And what else do we need? We need an assignee. And that is a person property. I'm going to call that assign me. Great. That's all we need. So now we got a templated database here. Maybe we'll duplicate this and we'll call this one. We'll rename this and say this is to do. And the other one will be all. And we want to sort that by date ascending. And we'll do the same thing over here. Sort by date ascending. Sweet. And we'll change the to-do one to where the status is not complete and save that. And we could add some other filters if you wanted here for your client to use. And I like to change the status here to a checkbox. And we will narrow that one down, drag it to the front, and we can delete these example pages here. So now when we create a client template, we're going to have our internal management stuff here where we've got our projects. And we could also import the task sync thing here as well if we wanted to see all the tasks related to this client. And this is the page that we would actually share with our customer. So that way they have just a version of the tasks that are assigned to them or you're working with together that would automatically um, be accessible to them, but they wouldn't see anything in the other client's dashboards or your task database because this is an independent database that we have shared with them. So let's go ahead and go back to our client's database. I'm going to open client A back up and maybe I will reapply that template. It's going to take a minute. Uh, so anytime we create a new client, we can create a dashboard that will show the uh, projects they're working on. And so in here, I might rename this to client A. And under this dot, dot, dot menu, I'm going to turn this into a task database. And we've already got status, assignee, and date ready to go, turn into task database. Now that the client A database is a my task database, I can start adding some tasks for my customer to do. So they might have a task one and task two. And for it to show up on the My page, uh, it will I will have to have me as the assignee in there, as well as my customer. So you might assign yourself, and perhaps I assign Marie as well, so she can see it when she accesses this, and she could then say where the assignee contains me. And then if I go back to my home page, now we can see uh, Client A has two tasks uh, where the assignee is me as well. So. In our my task, we can actually remove the me filter here. And that way we can actually remove ourselves here and we would be able to see all of our stuff uh, as well. But in this case, you're gonna see everybody's stuff across all of the databases. So I think, you know, unfortunately this is kind of the way that the best way for it to work right now is to, when you assign a client something to also assign yourself. And that way uh, you could see it across all of the databases. So we've got client A here, we've got our global tasks, and this is our internal company tasks. So client A can only see these tasks and they access it through their database. And for example, if we were to create a client B, we can spin this template instance up. And again, we would open this dashboard, rename them client B. We would share this with that customer with uh, editing privileges. And then we would assign, let's say me, say for everyone, and so this would be, say, uh, B1 and B2. And you can see I've already got me as the assignee. I would assign my client as well so that they would see it when they filter by me. And then, of course, if we go back to our homepage. Oh, what did I forget? I forgot to enable this database for our my tasks. So let's go back here, and we're going to go turn into a task database. We've already got the status assignee and date ready to go. Bam. And then, of course, now we can go back to our home page and we're going to see client A, client B, and tasks. So again, to recap, these tasks, client A, will only be seen by client A because you've only given them access to that database. And client B, same thing. The task database is your company tasks and so on and so forth. So now we can see the same task management stuff across all of our databases that we're using to manage our clients.
the tricky part here is that, of course, you have to assign yourself to the task as well so that it will show up on this page unless you want to see everything going on, in which case you could modify the filter to remove the me filter on this page, which would effectively not make it a uh, my tasks anymore, but that might be a strategy that you could use as well to manage your clients. One thing I found makes it easier because this view is kind of clunky and limited. We don't get bulk editing here. Uh, it's a little bit confusing. You can open my tasks as a full page and you could also rename this. I could call this my client work or something and I could favorite this. And now I've actually got a little more control over the filters. So I could add an advanced filter here and so on and so forth. And now this gives me the full control of a linked database. Uh, sorry for that. Let's go back to that as a favorite. Um, and this gives us our bulk editing. So now we could, uh, you can uh, change the due date, uh, for example. Oh, guess not. That looks like a bug. So I guess we'll click to manually change the date there. Uh, good to know. There's a bug that uh, bulk editing does not work in the view mode. Good to know. There are a couple of gotchas in this new My Task view that we want to be aware of. For example, we're only able to display the shared properties that all of the databases have together. So if I open up our props here, we've got status, a title property, a due date, the source, the assignee, and then our auto-generated created by properties. If, for example, we had a formula in our task database. So this is in my global task database, our company tasks, one plus one, simple formula. We're not able to display that in this view because we're only limited to the properties that exist in all of the databases that are task properties, essentially. We can though hide these. So if I don't want to see all these time ones, I can hide those. Um, oops, let's reshow my assignee there. Um, that's great. We can do that. Some of the other stuff we can do is we have access to all of our layout modes. So I could switch to, for example, a board view. And right now we are grouped on, what are we grouped on? Source? Yeah. So we're, in this case, we'd probably want to group on the status. And then we'd also want to do a subgroup. So get out of here and we can do a subgroup on the source. And this would give us like a board view where we have uh, the client first and then the tickets underneath each client and this would allow us if we go back into our grouping information here we want to color code these columns um, and we want to not hide the empty ones that's great one thing i will note here is that there are quite a few bugs with these uh, for example i can't actually drag the tasks through these columns right now so that doesn't seem to be working uh, maybe i can drag it up here no nope. That's not changing. So you do have to click in here and say in progress to move it along the swim lane. So I think, you know, there are a couple bugs that are, exist with this new view that will need to be resolved before it will be totally usable. As with all Notion databases, we can filter the content. So if I wanted to just show the stuff that is uh, not complete, I can do that. And you can sort here as well. So the due date ascending, that's great. We can display our properties. So I want to display the due date in the card and so on and so forth. So a lot of the same features in linked databases exist in the my tasks area as well. Hopefully this review is helpful in understanding what this my task feature is, what the home feature is and how you might use it a little bit if you are doing collaboration with an external party or you just want to simply have a private task database in your company workspace. I, for one, am really excited about what this means for the future of Notion. I'm hoping to see more row-based permissions in the future so that we might be able to even carve out a slice of our database and share that with somebody individually without having to share our entire database. But I think that this is a nice stopgap for some of the existing issues with Notion where people weren't able to see all the work they were doing in one place. Thank you so much for watching and make sure you like this video and subscribe if you'd like to see more content from me.